Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be discussing how to drive on soft compound tires. Now, in Australia this year, we've gone from a harder compound tire to a soft compound tire. And now what we're seeing is some of the drivers who are at the front are now struggling a little bit. And you've seen some other drivers you've never seen before that have made their way all the way to the front of the field and how this is helping their driving capabilities. So let's get stuck into it. So the first major difference that we want to look at is steering inputs. So when you're on a soft compound tire, you don't need to turn the wheel very much. You're letting the tire do a lot of the work for you. So we're seeing some drivers who have gone from a harder compound tire and now moving to a soft compound tire. They're struggling with this. Now, when you're looking at a hard compound tire and you're trying to be smooth in a cooler conditions and the car just won't quite steer, it's understeering for a period of time. Now what happens is you physically have to turn the wheel a bit more aggressively and a bit more steering input to make the corner and make the apex. Now jumping onto a soft compound tire, if you drive those same aggressive steering inputs, the car can get unsettled very quickly because the tire is doing a lot of the work for you. So if you're turning too quickly and too aggressively, then you have to almost turn back out and have two or three steering inputs to make the corner. Now when a driver has multiple steering inputs on a soft compound tire, What's going to happen is the rear of the car is getting unsettled, it's settled, unsettled, it's settled. So you might notice that your driver or some drivers that are out on the track, the car is going to start to bounce and have a bit of a, a bit of a hop around the corners. And that's because they're not quite holding that steering input the whole way around the corner. So they're turning in, the car's unloading, they have to turn out, turn it back, and then it starts to have this gentle bounce. So uh, soft compound tires, smoother and less steering inputs, will get in the corner much more efficiently. The second point that we wanna try and touch on, going from soft compound tire is, is that with our car set up, you need to have it more forgiving, more free, more slippery. Now, hard compound tires, you need a little bit more grip. So naturally, you might be going to a softer axle, you might have the rear track a little bit further in, you might have a little bit more caster in the car, whatever it may be to generate more grip for your particular chassis and your class. Soft compound tires, if you've already got grip into your car, and then you're bolting on a softer compound tire or a newer soft tire, for qualifying especially, that's where your car can start to, to bog down out of the corners. Or again, you're gonna feel it quite heavy in the steering wheel. So your arm's gonna feel like it's, you're sort of having to manhandle it and be a bit more physical to turn a corner. So naturally what you wanna do is, when you're going through these softer compound tires, is releasing more of the grip. And again, because we know the tire's got so much grip, and if we've got grip in the cart and grip in the tires, that's gonna just force the cart to bog down to the corners. You're gonna hear the engine RPM dropping as well. So you're gonna put your foot down, you're gonna hear the engine boop, and then it accelerates. And you just notice that that's just taking way too long. And you're gonna to start to see other competitors just start to creep away from you on the exit of a corner. So try and release the grip and try and drive the cart, especially in practice, with a little bit of slide, a little bit of forgiveness so that as more carts start to, to practice and get into qualifying and then put new tires down to the track, there's more rubber laying, getting laid down. So if you've got a cart that's almost near on perfect for practice, you might find that come qualifying and then into racing, you have too much grip in the cart. So the last thing we're gonna to touch on when it comes to soft compound tires is, naturally, the, the taller drivers used to have an advantage because on hard compound tires, you need a little bit more grip your center of gravity being higher in the go-kart, especially like myself, sitting in the cart, I could generate a lot more leverage and a lot more uh, weight transfer around the corners. Now jumping to a soft compound tire, you don't need that as much. So we're noticing that some of the taller drivers are having to, to lower their seat or to change their seat position from uh, previous uh, tires and their setup previously because they need to try and shift their weight down or sort of more towards the front of the car. Now the reason for that is, as we were saying, when you're turning a corner and the cart's already starting to unload, the taller the body weight is, it's gonna start creating more leverage and more inside uh, tire lift. That's not something that you need, especially when it comes to a high grip conditions. So for some of the taller drivers out there, try and get that seat a little bit lower in the cart. You might need to go to a stiffer seat as well to try and absorb some of that bounce. If you've got a soft seat, it might want to start bouncing a little bit more with your taller drivers. So throw in a stiffer seat, try that, and you might need to add some more seat stays uh, to the side of the car, some seat struts, and that might try and absorb some of that bouncing like a suspension as well. So that's it, guys, for this episode on how to drive on softer compound tires. Just remember, 
less steering input, slower, slow your hands down basically. Don't try and turn the wheel too aggressively to start off with because that means the car's gonna unload and you might have multiple steering inputs. Make the cart slippery, especially in practice, because when you get those softer compound tires and that fresh rubber, you need the cart to try and get to the next level and try and gain those two or three tenths. And if you are a taller driver, get the seat down, stiffen the seat and add some seat struts as well to try and stop some of that bouncing that you might be incurring around the corners. Are they good things off tires? I reckon it makes it a lot easier to drive. That's why we're seeing a lot of these newer comer drivers straight away from their first month of driving are very close to the pace straight away because it does take a lot of the guesswork out. We're not seeing a lot of P players these days spinning out. Literally, I, I help newcomers for the first day. They might miss a corner, they run, run wide, but they're no more spinning out because the tires are just sticking to the racetrack. So I'm not 100% sold on softer tires and actually a better thing for, uh, for the average driver. Yes, we corner faster, which is always fun, and it's always a good thing for, um, for racing. It makes the racing a lot closer. We're seeing the fields in qualifying especially being ultra competitive and ultra close, which is great for racing and race craft. But it is helping a lot of these newcomers out, and especially some of these more experienced drivers, they're just having to change their driving techniques and the art of driving a little bit ever so slightly. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of our YouTube channel. Remember, if you have enjoyed this episode, please leave us a comment down below and click subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes on our YouTube channel. I'm your host, Adding Thomas Australian Champion, David Serra. Look forward to chatting to you guys next time. Cheers.